What is good everybody it's Spillboy here back with another NBA 2K Lab video man and this video here this is going to be our very first NBA 2K21 next gen video we're going to go a little bit over the my player builder more specifically our best advice and tips for finishing and shooting badges and attributes it's really easy to mess up a build this year so watch this video don't make some simple mistakes we're here to help you out with that be sure to subscribe man turn those notifications on we have a lot of 2K21 content coming soon including physicals playmaking and defense maybe right after this video we'll find out but without further ado let's jump right into the video so we'll start with finishing and i've seen a lot of people missing wide open layups including myself but the first thing you should do is go into your controller settings and make sure that the layup timing is set to off. But if you're using badges like Pro Touch, you'll actually need this setting on. Now when it comes to putting points into finishing, you need to focus on a few key breakpoints that you'll need to know if you want to have the best slashing ability. Now first off, pretty much everyone is going for at least 80 driving dunk to unlock the Pro Contact Dunk Package along with at least a 55 vertical. But raising your driving dunk will automatically raise your vertical but before you complete your build, make sure you double check that you have the right vertical for these dunk packages. Now for big men, you also need to focus on getting a standing dunk of 80 if you want to unlock standing contact dunks. Then there's elite contact dunk packages that require a 90 driving dunk with a 65 vertical, but they don't really bring much return other than just looking cool. Now contact alley-oops are new this year, and players wanting to unlock those are going to want to make sure their build has at least an 85 driving dunk rating. Now, those are some of the ratings you need to unlock the basic packages to be able to dunk on people and get those posters. Next up, we're going to look at the close shot attribute, and in short, chances are you could probably go without it. Now, your close shot rating improves your ability to make standing shots close to the basket, and to test this, we ran a manual test of 200 contested standing shots under the basket, and we did this once at a 99 close shot rating, and then again at a 25 close shot rating, with a slight contest anywhere between 15 to 25%, and what we found is that the results came back almost identical. At a range this wide, the difference should be easily visible, and the results didn't even suggest that your close shot rating seemed to matter. And the badges that you would get from maxing out your close shot rating can be easily unlocked by other finishing attributes except for post hook. Now you can't set your post hook attribute in the next gen 2k but your close shot rating will always match your post hook rating. Now our recommendation is to skip it unless you're a big man who likes to take hook shots and contested put back layups. Now a better filler to gain badge points and finishing is to put points in post control because it carries a lot of weight for badges compared to your close shot rating. Now it's time to talk about next gen shooting badges and it seems the best shooting badges all fall in the 88 to 94 three point rating which can be tough to get on some builds but it's helpful to know that the 1 to 4 attribute rating boost you get from a higher overall can be used to unlock these higher level badges and the nice thing is it does not need to be maintained for you to keep using the badges. For example if your 3 ball is an 86 as a 95 rated player, you grind your player to a 99 in career to unlock hall of fame catch and shoot, you could go to the park, immediately lose 10 games, drop back to a 95 and you won't lose your hall of fame catch and shoot badge. Now we have all the badge unlock levels listed on the site so you can try to target certain badges as you make your player. We'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. Now earlier in the video we mentioned how your close shot rating matches your post hook rating and in that same way your post fade rating will always match your mid range jump shot rating. So an 80 mid range shot gives you 80 post fade as well. Now our final shooting badge tip if you're trying to unlock more shooting badges but you seem to be struggling to find enough attributes to shuffle around before you make your player you can consider dropping your wingspan and we found out that dropping your wingspan by just one inch will almost always add a shooting badge and players with a high three ball should expect to gain a badge point for every inch of wingspan they drop meaning going from max to minimum wingspan can add 10 shooting badges in some cases now like i said before man we're going to be dropping a lot of next gen 2k21 content once the wheels get in motion with the testing and you guys can expect to see a similar video very soon with tips on defense rebounding playmaking and physical attributes now if you found this video helpful be sure to hit it with the like don't forget to subscribe for much more next gen content i'm spillboy i'll catch you guys in the next video peace